Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to an adventure. This is the Curious Expedition, a new game on Steam. Now, it's currently in early access, so that means that it's still going through development. However, it's absolutely playable. I must say, you, you really wouldn't notice that there's still work to get done on it. So, the actual game is a roguelike exploration and management game. You start with your character. You only have uh, three or four to start with. You unlock as you roam along. Now, these are all famous scientists, um, religious people, literary people, uh, all real world people that potentially would actually have gone exploring. Uh, they all have their traits, they all have abilities and special equipment, and even some have unique followers, such as Alistair Crowley with his cultists. We have Charles Darwin with his uh, Scottish uh, soldier and his faithful donkey. So, you start off with your character. Now, let's have a quick look. I always like to go for somebody who starts off with, or will at least be a good source of sanity. So, I'll click on the unfortunate. Welcome back to Explorer's Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honour the expeditions of our most famous member? Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. So you can see it's set in a 19th century England, very much in a theme of the good old 20,000 leagues under the sea, um, journey to the centre of the earth, and even books such as you know, 80 Days Around the World. So these are the people I will be competing against. You have no direct interaction anyway, so they'll go off and they do their own adventures. Now we get to start down in I want to say it's Colombia, but off the top of my head I wouldn't really know. Um, it's south, it's the north part of South America. Uh, there's Argentina, Brazil, Colombia's maybe doing that. It's here anyway. So here you go, we're going to be the horrible grasslands. Now before you go, you always start with a little quest. Always the opening ones, very easy, it just takes you to normally a local village. So, no harm in accepting them. We get a letter to deliver and we set sail. And as you see, it generates a world. It gives us the location of the village to start with. And off we set. Now you can zoom out, you can zoom in. So you can use your right mouse button, hold it down. Now this is our party here. The numbers are how much sanity it costs to move. This is your sanity bar. If it drops to zero, bad things start to happen. The longer you travel in the wilderness, obviously the less sanity you'll have. You can, however, regain sanity by resting relaxing, so waterfalls, uh, villages can do it, um, hanging out crops, there's a few places you can do it, but it's a constant source of balancing your sanity and actually finding the uh, golden pyramid that you're looking for at the end. So each expedition ends once you explore a golden pyramid. In the way, on, on the way rather, you can find locations, 
know, books lore, loot pillage, you know, face fearsome giant crabs, raptors, tigers, and so forth. So it's all about maintaining and managing your party. And these guys will get a little bit negative at times, shall we say. So here's Cormag McInnes, the Scottish soldier, who just so happens to be racist. So we have a missionary. This is myself, Dion Fortune. So we'll go straight to the Unita village. So put your waypoint there. As you can see it's going to cost 9 points of sanity. We have 120, but we'll travel on. As we do so, we explore the area. Let's enter. Today we reach the village of a warrior tribe. An ornate stone idol is placed in the village centre. The natives observed us with curiosity. They were kind and offered us what they could. So we'll deliver the letter. I think we gain some standing. So you don't want to get very low standing or otherwise you can get attacked by natives. So when you loot and pillage shrines, then potentially you could get into trouble for that. So let's recruit Let's see if we get, we get an animal handler. Very often they won't actually stay with us, but recruiting one will reduce your standing because they're taking somebody away. See, here's Cormag McInnes, the racist. He's not overly happy, so let's move on. So, as you can see, Zuma, our animal handler. He is homesick, he's not going to leave, so he won't actually come with us. So we might as well have a look at this question mark up here. This is actually a special occasion. So if we travel up here again, keeping in mind we've got to actually keep our sanity levels. So that's a stone statue. Let's examine it. So, we inspected the mysterious, more than three meter high stone sculpture. The ghastly visage seemed to stare at us. It was a disconcerting sight, and we decided to move on. We saw a few items by the statue. They must have been put there by natives of this region. They were sacrificial offerings, it seemed. So, let's just see what sort of loot they had. An elephant tusk and a tome of hill creation. So let us just take it now. As you see, we've looted it, but we've reduced our standing. So when natives are starting to get restless. Now the golden pyramid is roughly in the direction that this compass is pointing. So it's over this way. So let's head down towards it. As you see there's an elephant here. You can attack the elephants and gain some ivory. But uh, combat is rather brutal in this game. You really, really have to get um, you know, good equipment to survive combat at the moment. So we can see a shrine. However, I'm being aware of, I'm now down to 80 of 120 sanity, and we can see an aggro area. So there's a gorilla patrolling this area that I might decide he wants to visit. So if we look at our compass, it's telling us to go up this way. So we can either go directly through the jungle. This takes a lot of time to go through. As you can see, just to get to here is 20, 28 to there. But it'll give you the path of least resistance. And in fact, going all the way around there will be 25. So we'll just go back down this way. The terrain always has different effects. So we're now into a new region. Ah, still in grasslands. But we need to actually try and 
discover something. There's a giant tree here. I found them off. As you go, you can find butterflies. In some cases, they help to improve your sanity. Now this is good, you see this is a waterfall down here, so we need to get back down there to try and get a bit of rest. However, as you can see, it's going to use up 23 sati, and we only have 21. We don't want to get too low. So, we'll eat some cocoa leaves that we were given as flies to start with. I will make our way down. It's right next to the gorilla, so hopefully he'll ignore us. We explore the waterfall and we can rest. As you can see, events will happen to people as you sleep and as time passes. So the gorilla is not overly happy with us. 48, because we're in the jungle, I'd rather we rest it a little bit further as it takes a lot of time to get through. But we're on day 51. However, a driver, as I said, play it safe. So we'll just sleep one set further. And I will leave. So we've rested for a week. But potentially there's an angry gorilla waiting for us. Now this gorilla is going to absolutely outmatch us here. So in this situation, while we could roll the dice, we don't have enough really to do much. Hopefully. The fleeing reduces your sanity, but really you have to do it sometimes. Just in time as well, as you can see. Here is the golden pyramid. So that would be the end of our journey. However, we've still got some sanity left. So let's have a little look just a little bit further south. This is a possible location we can explore. What is it? So it's a camp. It's an old campsite. So let's search it. Find some equipment. A weather balloon and two torches. So that's fine. So that will use up some of your spare sanity. Find the temple and we can now explore it here with Golden Pyramid Driver. The majestic Golden Pyramid rose above its environment, overcoming all the obstacles we had yet survived. After weeks of travelling, euphoria overcame me. I knew my name would be forever remembered. Zuma was very eager to hear my stories about modern society. He'd actually agreed to come back with us. Brilliant, so he's actually decided in the end that he does want to stay. So, we start with the ten fame. We found the golden pyramid. Found some butterflies. We've spent a lot of time getting there. So it took us 71 days to actually find the pyramid. We could have reduced that, but I always want the loot. So, we can have a look at the map around us. Explored 69%. It shows you actually how you visited. So we'll finish the expedition. Each time you complete an expedition, you actually get a perk. So it's random what you can get, and you can actually get more sometimes up or two rather than just a standard three. So we have Eagle Eye, Polygot, and Geography. So 
polyglot is quite useful. It actually allows us to improve communications with indigenous peoples. It actually allows us to open up the resting in native villages. Eagle Eye, also useful, does let us see further, and thus hopefully helping to find the pyramid sooner. And Geography gives additional information about our region. I'm not really sure. Um, let's go for Polyglot. You can see the crowd are cheering. This gives you how people have been doing. Now, each time we arrive with loot, we can either donate it to the museum for fame, or sell it at an auction to help fund the coming expeditions. So the elephant tusk is worth 20 fame or 60 gold. So let's sell it. Meanwhile, the tome of filtration can either keep it uh, or give it to the museum. I'll just give it to the museum. It's possibly useful, but I'll get to the museum and we can see our fame goes up a bit there. So we now have two choices to go. Desperate trilands or mysterious trilands. So, I wonder where we'll go. Find out next time on our curious expedition. Take care everybody and have a great day now. Bye bye.